VPA and Dubois Meteorologist Bobby Marchature with your outlook for December 21st, 2021. I am hatless today for a change. Uh, today is the first day of winter, and uh, it arrives this morning at 10.59 a.m. The winter solstice will arrive this morning at 10.59 a.m. Uh, it will feel very close to seasonal average for this time of year today, uh, with actually the next couple of days with temperatures in the 40 to 45 degree range. If anything, it's very slightly above average but not by much okay so it's going to feel at least like it is winter especially with a very cold night last night again after uh, a cold night the night before uh, we have two systems that we're going to be sandwich, sandwiched in between today and that's going to be one off the southeastern u.s coastline that moved from florida it's going to head off to the north and east and another one moving diving through the great lakes uh, these two will remain very far separated, so there will be no interaction with the two of them until it gets well past our region, and therefore this system here off the southeastern U.S. coastline is not going to come up the coast and give us a storm. There will be some fringe effects here for mainly southeastern areas as we get towards this evening, uh, and this would be areas uh, southeast of I-95, mainly across Delaware, South Jersey, could have a uh, an isolated shower in that uh, time frame, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. And uh, once this gets past us, this will finally interact, but that's not going to be until it gets up to the Maine and Nova Scotia and that area. So that will be their issue at that point. So I'm going to move this forward here uh, on the uh, European model, move it forward here, and you can see a little bit of a graze effect across South Jersey and Delaware as this uh, moves on by. These two still are, are separate at this point, and once it gets up into you see Maine gets a little bit of snow here as these two start to interact as this pulls away. So that's going to be their issue, not ours, okay? Uh, here is the NAM simulated satellite. And uh, this is looking at noon. And you're going to have a swath in here where it's really just, uh, there's really nothing here. There's really, uh, the sun's out uh, further southeast down here. You're going to have some cloud cover. And that's going to be in association with that offshore low. This cloud cover up here is going to be in association with that uh, system coming across the Great Lakes. So in between, you're going to have a little bit of clearing here. You can see that here. Uh, but our southeastern areas, as we get into this, uh, into uh, later in the day, we'll get into cloudiness. Uh, we have increasing clouds in far eastern Pennsylvania, uh, maybe even the Lehigh Valley, the Lancaster areas like that. We'll get into that cloud cover as well. But mostly New Jersey, southeast PA, Delaware, and parts of Maryland getting into the cloud cover today with that system. And then overnight, we are mostly cloudy in those same areas. But again, uh, we're going to be improving here on uh, Wednesday with uh, mostly sunny skies expected. Here's that. Uh, here's an AM high res future simulator radar. I'm going to start this off here in the evening just to give you an idea of where those showers are. And I'm going to move my head out of the way here because as I move this forward, you can see across South Jersey and Delaware right here, right next to my head, uh, there's, some, uh, there's some showers popping across uh, southern New Jersey and Delaware, mainly nearest the shore points there, but just a few showers rotating through during the evening and maybe part of the overnight uh, before that finally pulls away. So it's not a big deal, okay, as far as rain's concerned, but there are some showers, uh, shower opportunity down here in those particular areas with this coastal system as it goes by. It's going to be well offshore, not affecting our region directly. Uh, and once we get past this system on uh, Wednesday, we're going to have a trough start to dig in. We have a cold front moving through the region. That's going to be a dry front once that uh, this northern stream system moves through. That's going to drag a cold front through the region. It'll be a dry front for our area. That's going to set up Thursday to be a colder day, kind of like it was yesterday. Okay, uh, So nothing extreme there, but temperatures back in the 30s for many areas for highs on Thursday. And maybe getting to about 40, 41-ish down here by Philadelphia for highs on Thursday. It's a one-day uh, return in temperatures back down to uh, slightly below average levels, and then we start to increase again as we get to Friday, as we get some warm air advection into the region. And we have the next system moving at us is going to bring drag a warm front through the region, and that's going to be on Friday night. This is Christmas Eve night. Uh, it does look like it's going to be a primarily rain, but uh, across northeast PA, higher elevations, you could start off as a little bit of snow or a mix very briefly uh, before that goes over to rain showers, and that looks like it's going to end by Saturday morning. We'll get the exact timing of that as we get a little bit closer. Saturday morning, of course, is Christmas morning. Could be a leftover shower there, but or, or leftover clouds in the morning giving way to sun here in the afternoon, 
And then uh, it's going to be uh, relatively mild here on Christmas Day. It looks like we're going to be warm sector in between that warm front moving through uh, and these showers moving through. So I don't think it's going to be quite as warm as, as it was originally thought. We might get up to 50, low 50s kind of thing here on, on uh, Saturday until that front moves through. And then the temperatures will be lower here for Sunday and Monday of next week. We might have another little system coming at us here on Monday. The results in a mostly cloudy skies here for Monday. But don't look like, doesn't look like we're going to have any precipitation from that, at least initially. We'll continue to follow that throughout the week. But this is another overrunning up and over this ridge here type situation where it's very limited, limited to moisture. And uh, you might squeeze out a few snowflakes or maybe a few uh, rain showers, depending on where you're at with this particular wave coming through on monday but other than that we're looking at a fairly dry week overall uh just looking at a little bit of shower activity on christmas eve night again northern areas you might start off as a little bit of snow very briefly before that goes over to some rain as the warm front moves through but other than that it's looking uh, pretty cut and dry here for this week ahead for the holiday week looking very good for your holiday week up ahead i'm bp enjoy meteorologist bobby marcus that is your outlook for December 21st, 2021. Have a great Tuesday.